Bloop. See that? That's you. And you have the measles. And those, those dots around you, they have zero protection against the virus. Science tells us eventually you will infect upwards of 15 other dots, thanks to something known as an r naught. Yep, r naught, a fancy term that tells you how contagious a disease is. The r naught of measles, around 15. The r naught of smallpox, 6. Both are very contagious, but measles remains rare. And no one gets smallpox anymore credit the rise of vaccinations, an effective shield against contagion. Maybe a few dots received one, maybe that one didn't, but see what it does to the spread? Now let's take the new coronavirus. Its r naught of two or three suggests it's not as harmful, but as of now, no one has protection. There is no vaccine, so you and your dot could infect two or three, and those two or three could infect four or five, and so on and so on. In the U.S., the number of cases is doubling every three days, a true case of exponential growth. But let's say you decide to social distance and only infect one, not two or three. Your neighbor doesn't go to work. Your coworker doesn't hit the park. A stranger stays home. Infections can still happen, but the odds of any one dot infecting two or three others decreases thanks to distance. The contagion slows. Exponential growth turns into linear growth, if not this. Until there is an effective treatment or a vaccine, physical distancing represents the best odds, say infectious disease experts, one by one, connecting the dots by doing nothing more than disconnecting.